Hi cuties, it's Lindsay here, and today I wanted to give you my top 10 must-haves for Lolita. Now keep in mind that this is my opinion and you know what you want and Lolita could differ from me. So let's get started. So coming in at number 10 are cute shoes. Um, shoes just really complete a Lolita outfit and if you have like plain black shoes or tennis shoes or something it doesn't really look like Lolita it looks kind of not well thought out and um, some people unfortunately get called an Ida because of this so just watch out for that. I recommend getting yourself a pair of cute shoes. Um, you can go on Bodyline or even eBay and they have cute, a lot of cute shoes there. So, cute shoes, number 10. And number nine is wrist cuffs. Woo! I have so many wrist cuffs and I love them. Or bracelets if you, if you don't feel like wearing a wrist cuff but I just think that they look really cute and again they kind of complete the Lolita aesthetic and they just look really cute and are all frilly and I love them. <laughs> At number eight is hair accessories. Um, today I just have one little clip, not really, not a head bow or anything because it doesn't really go with my cord today. But um, I have a lot of cute little hair accessories. Um, we have this cute little bow. Little, you could do little headbands and then even like hats and stuff. This is a beret. Um, those all are good in Lolita and they actually look really cute. And I love seeing boater hats and berets and big bows and stuff like that. I think it looks so good. <laughs> Next are uh, bloomers, or if you don't wear bloomers and uh, shorts, just something to go under your dress and um, and kind of, you know, hide your underwear pretty much. And uh, I feel a lot less naked <laughs> when I wear bloomers or shorts. So just something to keep in mind if the wind, if it's really windy uh, where you are, um, bloomers or shorts. Um, those are all really good to have. <laughs> At number six is uh, OTKs. Um, just if you want to start off with just a pair of white OTKs um, and, and just kind of build your wardrobe from there as far as socks go. Next is a bag. Uh, you don't have to have necessarily a Lolita bag. This one is a little heart bag from Angelic Pretty. Um, you don't have to necessarily have a Lolita bag. It could just be a plain bag. Um, but it looks a lot nicer if it goes with your cord. And uh, so keep that in mind when you're choosing your bag. Uh, pink goes with pink, purple, purple, brown with country you know just keep that in mind when whenever you're looking to uh carry your bag at number four are wigs i love wigs they like if i have a bad hair day i can just throw on a wig and not even have to worry about it but if you don't like wigs then just you know make sure that your hair is nice and clean and kept and brushed out and um that it's not just thrown up in a bun or or in a ponytail or something like that we want it to look nice and kept next are blouses um definitely i would recommend to get a white blouse to start off with just because a uh, white can go with anything that you're trying to do country sweet gothic classic it, it just goes pretty much with all of them um, just make sure that it is just a plain blouse to start off with um, this one just has a nice collar and a button down and it's a long sleeve and um, yeah it's really cute at number two is a petticoat yay so petticoat is 
pretty much what gives the Lolita the bell look of uh, the dress or A-line if you're doing an A-line Lolita look. But most of the time it's that bell or cupcake look. I would say you should spend the money to get a good petticoat uh, just because if you get it off of eBay or go to like a party shop or something, they tend to wear down over time and they don't really stay poofy or anything like that. But uh, definitely I would say spend the money to get a good, good petticoat. Uh, there's um, classical puppets. This one is um, One Day in Paradise and I've had no problem with this. It's such a good petticoat. I wear it all the time and I also have multiple petticoats that uh, that if I need to give it a little more poof, then I can just slip on under this and then it'll have a really big poof. And lastly, at number one, is to have a comb. Uh, combs are a Lolita community and what we do is make friends in the Lolita community and just kind of hang out, have tea, go to meetups, go to a museum and stuff like that. You can mostly find comms on uh, probably Facebook or somewhere on the internet, maybe LiveJournal, um, Blogspot, stuff like that. Um, I found my comm on Facebook and I just what I did was typed in the city that I live in and then Lolita Calm and then it popped up with a list of all the communities in my city. And really I don't know where I would be without my calm. I don't know if I would still be into Lolita. I mean, I'm sure I still would be, but I would still be a lone Lolita instead of a Lolita that goes out and actually does Lolita-esque things. So uh, I would say definitely get a, into a calm. I mean, if you're not into calms and you don't really feel like hanging out with other Lolitas, then that's fine too, but I mean, I personally just, I love hanging out with my fellow Lolitas. It's just so much fun. So this has been my top 10 for what you need in Lolita or what I think I need in Lolita. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.